All right. Uh, I will uh, uh, call the meeting to order. Uh, uh, the first thing on the agenda is uh, uh, adjustments to the agenda. Do we uh, have any? Lindy, bon uh, Bonnie, Amy. I think uh, you know. I, I think we're pretty we're we're pretty clear. So okay, we're going to go with the agenda as presented. Um, someone's calling me to get political opinion. Um, and uh, so uh, board comment. Uh, Ethan, yeoman's work, uh, yeoman's work, getting everything together. It just really, there were no surprise, like last minute, someone has to go change something and it looks like, you know, uh, it, it, it all went, went very smoothly. So, uh, well done. Sir. Well, thanks. Did everybody get their book today? Uh, I don't know. I haven't checked mail yet. Um, but, uh, thanks to Amy and Jenny and everyone else who sort of followed in. Um, you know, I, I'm sure we'll find something. It's just sort of the nature of bulletin, but uh, uh, well, I, great. yeah, Thank I did find a couple little little thing here and there, but yeah. it, it was beautiful, Ethan. Well okay. done. Thank you. Thank you. Let's hope it has it does its job, which is to you know inform well enough to maybe waylay a few questions here and there, um, yep. or and present ourselves well. I guess that's that was the main issue. Yeah, I mean, I think that. You know, when, when someone comes to you with professionally prepared, you know, uh, accurate, complete looking document, you take it more seriously than when, you know, it's all printed in Comic Sans or um, <laughs> it, uh, it has some obvious, you know, uh, mistakes and misnumbering. So, uh, well done. All right. Um, Thank you. Prep for the informational meeting. Um. I think that uh, the stuff that I've that that, that I've seen and, and 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 it looks like people are doing is they're kind of trying to do you know have um, some presentations canned um, you know before uh, uh, before the meeting happens. So in other words, rather than necessarily like explaining um, all the line items of the budget. You know, there's a, they they make a recorded statement or a recorded PowerPoint, and 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 play that. Um, I think you know, I I think beginning with something that kind of steps through, um, you know, the 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 high points of our budget, uh, uh would be would be useful. Um, and then um, and I'd be willing to take a first uh, a first cut of trying to put something like that together, Amy. Uh, Lindy and I spoke just briefly about um, about this type of presentation, and she started to just kind of mock up some an idea of of um, taking it by section and and like you're saying, hit the high points. Um, you know what what is the the big main points of the, the regular education? Then next on to the to the you know the art, the PE, the each little section, and um, so maybe Lindy can share that with you. She just did like the first slide or two to kind of to get it rolling. Uh, but as we are doing this, we do need to kind of um, think about how we're going to be able to present it. Um, I've seen the them uh, districts put it on Facebook so that or to put a link on um, the website so that people who are calling in are going to be able to look at the presentation at the same time as the presentation is happening. Yeah. Hey, uh, Carl? This is uh, Deb Matthews. Last night I was at the FBUD meeting and what they did was um, two board members, um, Jamie and um, Tara, were in the conference room of uh, the SU and they were able to present, to do a presentation live because the four of them could sit socially distanced with masks far enough away. Okay. So that would be that, you know, we, we could certainly consider having the board members uh, uh, get, or, or at least some of us get together for that. I think, uh, I, I think that's something probably Jenny would take a pass on um, and want to still stay virtual for, um, but we could bring in, you know, and, and we have six and not four, but that's certainly the, the, the uh, that's certainly something to consider. Is, well, did, and I think Ray said that they had Google Slides going with the presentation. Like it wasn't just the two of them 
talking about the budget. They had started right. a slideshow out ahead of time. The, the, the slideshow, I believe, was out ahead of time, but also they presented the slideshow. Because if you look at the video from that meeting, they were presenting the slideshow at that time. And is that why they needed to be in the conference room together was for that be able to present it? Or what was the reasoning that they needed to actually get together just so they could talk easier with answering questions or? I think part of it was um, it helped um, to be in the same room for the presentation piece so that it wasn't handing it off virtually to another person. Um, that's why they did it because with that, um, big machine the conference thing it was it was easy to have one person kind of move the slides and then the people there were two board members that did the talking basically okay, okay. that's okay. one idea yeah i was i i, I was the, the 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 stuff i've seen seen is boards have done you know they've they've sort of screencast the presentation so they've gone through it and they've narrated it and made it into a into a private youtube video and so they can share the YouTube link with their callers because most everyone, um, rather than trying to, 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 to have a file that they would download, YouTube does a pretty good job of buffering things. So if you've got a crummy internet connection at your house, YouTube will give you a low res version um, versus, idea. versus having a, a Google meet where things might be breaking up. So, I mean, we can do it. Certainly it's going to, if we had to make a, you know, if I had to, to, to put together a YouTube video, we'd have to, you know, that would have to be done in advance. So we have more time if we're gonna, you know, we could be changing slides on a presentation that we're doing in the conference room at 6.15. The YouTube video would have to have, you know, been finished and, and put the link up, you know, 24, 48 hours in advance. Yeah, so then Carl, do you just hit like play for lack of a better term during our actual meeting and let the presentation run its course? Yeah. For the yeah. purpose of it being a public meeting? Right. Okay. Right. You have you instead of basically you're 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 going to you're going to present a, a YouTube tab um, on the uh, screen. Right. Versus versus uh, presenting a PowerPoint and hitting return as gotcha. you talk through 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 the presentation. Cool. That's a good idea. Is that something that seems doable in the next week? Um, I, well, I mean, I can put the, I can start building out the presentation, and if it goes the way people want, I can narrow. I mean, I've been doing that. Uh, for for uh, the TSA already, you know we okay. have I have the tool where you know I can I can go through a presentation and, and screencast and narrate and it makes it, it makes a, a, a YouTube uh, video out of it. So I'm 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 confident with the ability to use the technology. Um, so Carl, did you did you see that Ray posted a virtual um, version of the bulletin? <laughs> Uh, no, I saw the I saw the email that uh, he was asking for a copy of it. I did yeah, not know. He, about the website. I believe uh, man, I'll have to go back and look. I don't think he just posted it to me. I thought he posted it to all of us. But anyway, no, it's where, there. But where he posted it was up on our portion of the White River Valley SU website. We now have a link, and it's right on the back of the um, bulletin that says because at the time we just didn't have enough information this is where people need to go to find out what time our virtual meeting is any additional voting instructions Check. this presentation uh, a copy of this book it's it's okay. going to be it's a great resource for us yeah as you folks know only too well i'm not going to wade into the technology of presentation but i am going to add to lindy's point um, when we presented the uh, Outer Valley Unified Union budget over here, and it's obviously a, a bigger budget, there's five or six elementary schools and a mid-sized high school, we did it in about, I think, Carl, there was somewhere between 20 and 25 slides, and people actually, some of the better input we got on the presentation was, um, thank you for limiting the slides to the, you know, the really important pieces so that we could sort of sort out the wheat from the chaff, so to speak. So I don't, I don't think that it has to be a long and detailed presentation. I think more, as Lindy said, go into each part of the budget and look for the big changes, big increases, big decreases, and have an explanation for that, for those. Right, right. And I certainly would work with, uh, you know, if Lindy uh, started that or got that mostly done, you know, would happily uh, turn, the, turn her notes into slides or, 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 or whatever we want to do. How long was your presentation? It was about... 15, I don't think it was more than 20 minutes. Yeah, I was. It was, I was a good 
It was a different kind. It was a click and point that someone was actually clicking and, and pointing through the presentation. Right. Um, so we can, you know, uh, if you could, could you send me a link to that presentation too? So I just, just sh oh, I shared the general outline. I really didn't go very far other than to put my ideas down on paper that Amy and I had talked about, but. Yeah, I'd just be oh. interested to see the, 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 the areas that Otter Valley touched on and, you know, mm -hmm. how I can call the business manager tomorrow and ask her to send that to you. That would be awesome. And you know, it would be it, you know, looking at looking at what another school did. I mean, were you successful? Did the presentation work? Um, yeah, yes. the budget. <laughs> yeah, we squeaked it in just before uh, the schools closed down in the state. But yes, the budget passed. Okay. Um, there's also a link to the to the F bud. Um, meeting it's it you see them in the conference room but it does show all their slides if you want to see what member yeah, district I'll probably do that too. yeah just to just to make you know just to, to scan through it to make sure that we're there's there's no area that I'm either a rambling on and, and right. rambling about or b skipping entirely that's one of the reasons yeah. I like the idea of a record of, of something that's that's recorded in presentation because then mm -hmm. you get distracted I think it's a very good idea. If you're able to to you know run with that, I think that sounds really good. Okay, I'll take I'll, I'll take a cut at it. I'd like to have something done in you know in in the next few days at least to, to have a, a a rough idea of where I'm going. Okay. Do you need help with the info that goes on the slides, like the big changes or summaries? Yeah, yeah. If you could if you could help pull those numbers together, you know I could okay. I could I could uh, uh, you know work with that. Because that would, that would that would leave me just making the presentation and making the video and, and not having to do as much okay. of the work. Okay. I'll also email. I have just some a couple small notes about specific line items that I had n made note of when we were kind of going through the budget. Yeah. And oh, Amy, maybe if you can help with the bullet points for the like the revenue and the tax rate, those are things that I'm not very good at articulating in general. I understand it, but. It, <laughs> If you, like I get what it means, but in terms, I just want to make sure the right words are in there. I don't want to mislead anybody and be different than what the bulletin um, said. So, and I can pull that out. The, the bulletin, Ethan had me do a, a nice explanation um, in the bulletin about how we get our tax rate and what, you know, what equalized pupil means and what all this, these means. So, um, you know, that, that was quite helpful. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, and then maybe we can use part portions of that um, in in that. Do you want me to send my notes to you, Lindy, and then you will connect with Carl, so then you're not not going double over them or either or works. Okay. I would be lying if I said my email was really under control right now. <laughs> <laughs> so send it to both of you, and then and then you know you'll see what I've what okay. I've pointed out, and and correct me if I am wrong. <laughs> um. I, just, I think a really, I think a really good page to include is the tax page because you can start right out with how much the school budget actually is, what the local revenues are, how you get to your per pupil expenditure by your um, by the number of equalized pupils, and then down at the bottom there's that magic little box that takes the unified tax rate and applies the common level of appraisal to it, and that's the difference in the tax rate between the two towns, and it just lays it all out in about. I don't know, 18 lines maybe. True that. Okay. Ethan, you were about to say something? Uh, just to, um, uh, I hope we include whatever the latest data is about next year. Um, you know, I know most of the people who come to the informational meeting are people who don't tend to have kids in the school. They're more likely to be the taxpayers who, you know, don't have that and more interested in the finances. But I do think it's important that we let people know sort of what the plans are at the latest. Obviously, I don't think a well, lot's changed, except that he said they are going back to the building. Um, that's the last I've heard. That's, that's for the plan. <laughs> right. I don't believe there's been any, well, I, I know the, the, you guys the, are like, <laughs> the AOE is supposed to be giving more guidance about what going back to school looks like beyond taking temperature and asking questions, but I don't believe they've, they've dropped that guidance yet. Bruce just joined us. Have they? No. Well, maybe we, maybe we can at least tell the. No, they haven't dropped that guidance yet. 
Okay. We can always, the other thing you can always do is we can always have, we can have the, the, the one presentation that, that uh, goes through all the information about the budget and, and, and those highlights and then have a second presentation that either we're doing live or we're also, we're also recording that, that, that goes through about the situation for next year, because I think it is important that, you know, and I do, I do think more so than this, than, than other years, we're going to have some people checking in to find out what the heck is going on or, 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 or what they can expect in the fall. Right. I really sorry, think I'll only say that. Oh. Uh, there's a only... meeting right in a row and Tara's following me. So uh, she'll be in here in a minute. I really think the only statement we should be making about fall is that it's our goal and our plan to bring kids back in the safest possible way and still educate while a pandemic's going on. I, I would hate to put something out there that's gonna get changed in August. Well, there's gonna be requirements by the state and there's also gonna be requirements that you impose on yourself. Right. So there'll be a mixture of both. And um, I just can't guarantee by Tuesday night that we'll have, have had enough time to digest all that if it comes out. Well, maybe we can just say exactly what you just said, Lindy, and say that there is a COVID-19 team that is our mm -hmm. task force that is, is you know, what they're doing and that they're meeting and, and just kind of explain to people that this is what's happening right now. We're not sure what it's going to look like. We're all hands on deck right now trying to figure it out. Um, I, I do think it is important to say something, though, just because- right. It is a big question, especially if you're a resident who doesn't have any kids in the system. Um, you don't really know what's going on. And something that will help a little bit, one will go out before then, is I know um, Jamie is planning on writing a letter every other Friday, just giving the status as of that point in time. So yeah. at least one, at least one will, will go out before the 30th. But I agree that we need to say something. I think though Lindy's caution is a wise one. We ought to paint yeah. it in sort of broad brush strokes at this point. Yeah, I agree. So do we want that to just be a separate comment or do we want that to be part of Carl's screen cast? I think it, I think it should probably be live because okay. that way it's most up to date. I think that now that I think about it, I don't think that needs to be. Better we're prepared with the numbers and we got that down and we do that well. And this stuff, this is a lot easier. We're a lot all, a lot easier talking about this stuff, I think, in a live conference. Yeah, yeah maybe. So part of the reason to record the, the stuff about the budget is to be as clear and as concise and making sure you're choosing your words well. And um, not too long. <laughs> exactly. Um, and, uh, you know, this, this kind of announcement, again, we're... We're not going to be able to provide, you know, there's not going to be detailed bullets. I think there's not going to be 20 slides about what September right. will look like. So I think making, making some, some general statements that, uh, you know, only cover things that we know are for sure. You know, <laughs> yeah. sure. So who wants to present that? I think we should assign that um, as a specific, a specific, um, I mean, is it you Carl or is it Lindy who wants to do that portion of it? I um, you, well, the chair of the COVID task force yeah. is on this call. I think Bonnie should. Yeah, I mean, Bonnie's the chair. So why doesn't she? That's my final. Uh, my final. The chair. That's the last line of the contract. I, 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 I that logic, Mr. Labs. <laughs> it's Dr. Labs. Um, no kickbacks. <laughs> who's the chair of the COVID nineteen task force? Bonnie. Bonnie. Well, that's perfect. Bonnie. Okay. We were Bonnie. pulling your leg. That was here, actually, too. I'm just sitting here quietly. I'm not doing anything, but I will I be happy. I will be happy to do that. Okay. okay. I think that'd be appropriate. Okay. Um, and then you were talking about it when I got on the call, Amy. But let's briefly discuss the other the other uh, big leg. I think of our conversation is going to be how we handle collect and handle um, a, a taxpayer and, and, and community member questions. So you were talking, go ahead, Amy, you were talking yeah, about- so like I, um, uh, Lindy and I had been talking about this uh, before and uh, with she reached out to Ray about what some possibilities are and um, Staff, is it Stafford and FBUD um, have done it uh, this way that they um, had just, 
go down. They have everybody who's on the call and they just start from, they, they do their presentation and then and they told everybody how this was going to work. Then they just started with the first caller on the list and they identified them. And, and if they had a question, they unmuted and, and asked their question and then they moved on to the next one. Um, everybody, it basically, everybody had a chance to speak once. Yeah, uh, one, one other thing that was very effective, and that was last night when we did this, they had a, um, a series of slides with language on it. One person decided to just basically read those. They'd show them on the screen and they'd read them. And they're kind of the frequently asked questions. How do we get to this? There was a worksheet having to do with the tax rates. Um, and you ought to get those slides and just fill your own information into them. It, it really was very effective. Uh, and then, as Amy just pointed out, they went down the list, caller number with the two digits ending in 42. Do you have anything to ask? And star six to unmute. They either did or they didn't. And then they move on to, you know, caller 802 and last two digits 62. Do you have anything you want to ask? And they went right on down. There were 50, 49 people on the call last night. And it was slick. And it really, it was very well done. Did they preface that you only get one question? They did, but they came back to people if, you know, because there were a lot of people that didn't ask a question. Okay. Uh, and there were some people that had like three questions. Oh, and sure. Because yeah. I'm here now, yes. Um, <laughs> They had three questions, so they asked the board, we have three questions. Would you like to hear my three questions and then you can address them as you feel necessary? And most of them were right along the same topic. So the board allowed them to ask all three of their questions and then each person who was assigned to discuss that topic answered the question. And then they went on to the video callers and the video callers asked their questions. So both meetings that I've done so far, that's been the process that was taken and it seemed to go really smooth. And then there was um, in the meeting on sat last Saturday, there was a series of follow up questions that happened after other people asked their questions where last night we didn't have as much there. It's been well done in both places. Um, but I think you guys ought to look at those slides and just fill your own information in. Uh, and that could give you some structure around what you want to do. That's what they did first, and then they took questions after that. Well, I mean, I know that a lot of our um, uh, residents will probably want to speak multiple times, um, and that might inhibit them. But on the other hand, it is to run a smoother meeting to be able to let everybody have a chance to speak <laughs> back if it, it seems like it's a really pressing issue. And that also kind of, you know, limits the, the, the amount of time in discussion on those questions as well, um, which it really should just be a question with an, uh, an answer, not a discussion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I was going to add, Amy. I do know it's a fine balance and, and, you know, you have to pick your words carefully. But really, this meeting is an explanatory one for the budget. It's not for discussion of things that people, you know, have a grievance about or don't like or blah, 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 because that could consume your whole your whole uh, budget meeting. So, And that is one thing in both of these meetings, Bonnie, that they did shut down. They There was some questions that were asked about, you know, future planning of the school. And I believe the board and Bruce and Jamie both at one point chimed in and said, this is not the at, this is not the place for these questions. Those can be addressed at a later board meeting. Yeah, they asked one about negotiations. They asked one about the merger of the um, middle school in, in FBUD, uh, Chelsea and Tunbridge. And we we didn't go there at all. We listened to what they asked, but then we said, no, I'm, it's not appropriate to talk about it. Um, and it's not appropriate to talk about negotiations in this meeting. Right. I, Other than I, the fact that I we feel, haven't reached an agreement, that's, it's important that they know that. But um, I, I do feel, yeah, that it's that we should have as a board, we should have a criteria. One, we should know who's, and maybe you've already talked about this. Sorry, um, but the idea of who's going to answer questions, because I think it's important that we have a point person, and if it's a major numbers thing, it goes to somebody else. But 
I think the other thing is that we have some guidelines, and I don't know if anybody has these, but we could make them up, of how we want to answer questions so that we don't go on and answer and it becomes a dialogue that goes on for a while, because I think that's the kind of meeting we want to avoid. Well, I think I think in both Stratford and in FBUD, they gave a good overview so that it really cut the questions down. A lot of people had their answers before you know, before we started calling on people. Um, and, you know, the administrators were on, they answered a lot of the uh, detailed questions. Tara asked, answered some questions. Um, you know, I, I answered some questions, Jamie answered some questions. So it was, it was kind of a team effort. And, um, and I think, uh, how, did you decide, how did you decide who answered what question? <laughs> jump in? Well, it was kind of, yeah. um, the budget questions like no one could really answer like they had asked very specific like what is included in this line item and so i had the notes on the budget workbook the board didn't have that readily available so i stepped in and answered those questions on behalf of the board some of the other questions were about um which i don't know if they'll come up in your district but it was more about the multi tiered systems of support and what our plans are moving forward and how that's going to be developed within the buildings. So Jamie answered those questions and um, then Bruce answered some questions about the vote. Deb answered some questions that came up about special education and then um, a few of the budget, other budget questions, the board was able to answer directly. So I didn't have to answer those. It's really kind of up to the moderator, which I would assume would be Carl, to kind of say, hey, is somebody from the administration want to answer that one? Or, you know, you can do a little of that direction uh, as we go. Uh, so I don't I, know. I, I think, and this is what they, I know they do in political campaigns because I've watched with the West Wing. Um, I think we should have, a, <laughs> I think we should have. That's funny, that's funny, Ethan. <laughs> I, I think we should have a building answer. Mm. That yeah. was going to be my same suggestion. Yeah. I think we what need is going to be your a clear answer. statement that we because we're going to get a question about it and it's going to come up whether it's because it's in the budget. I broke out the costs. You know, what is your timeline? It's going to be something like, what is your timeline? What is this? And we need a, just a good, clear answer that we know we have. And then if there's some follow up, fine. But I think we just so we don't want to fumble that question. And there's probably a couple others. Like yeah, well, health insurance is one that yep. will come up. Uh, people will want to know uh, raises, who got them. And, and of course, that to be determined, it's it hasn't happened. But uh, um, Bruce, uh, I think that um, the. Yeah, there's the the question on merging the middle schools is kind of like the building question for um, Rochester and Stockbridge. And basically what they said is when COVID hit, they had to put the brakes on any discussions that centered around future planning and that kind of um, those issues so that they could move forward and that they will get to it. But right now, they just need to, we're still in a pandemic and there will be meetings that will be scheduled later on in the fall. I thought it was a oh. good answer. Yeah, I think that's a great, I think that's an excellent response to it because we can say we were you know, finished up with the building committee, we were ready to go with some decisions and then the COVID hit and we, we had to put it it's on a back burner until we, we can make decisions, know how we're going back next year. Well, didn't, didn't Keith call step. us out on that? What's that, Landy? Said, didn't Keith call us out on that yeah. the last time? That you shouldn't be using the COVID thing as an excuse. <laughs> so, well, it's not an well, excuse. It's just, it's just I think Jean, I think Janie answered that question well. It's not an excuse. It's the reality. I mean, Lindy had made contact with a a representative who was going to do some community engagement for us. We would have been moving forward on that had we not closed. Um, yeah, that's, I, think that's very I just important. want to caution that I don't think we should say that the committee was too successful because Joanne's going to say, no, no, it wasn't. Carl didn't give us another meeting. And, you know, I'm sorry, yeah, but right. we have to be careful about that in terms of what we're going to be saying. And I don't, we have to just be clear. 
Well, this but is what we need. We need an answer. We need the a, next a clear... step. That the, the next step that the board was taking was 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 to engage with community, get community engagement. That was the next step, regardless of what happened with the building committee. Uh, the, the building committee had, uh, found that it was a very difficult task, and and we and it was decided that there was more that need, we needed community engagement, and we couldn't we couldn't go any further. COVID hit. Right. The next step we'd already. So I don't think we should pander to that. It's not an excuse. There, uh, I do want to say that the Envision Rochester repurposing group um, has started to meet again. Oh. And they are, are are excited to start because uh, they had come to our meeting and said, "Can we remember?" They said, "Can we explore some things as a community group?" And so they have started again. Whether that's information that you know, I, I would just be like, even our conversation is going down the rabbit hole right now. I think we right. just need to come up with a statement that was like, exactly. our thought prior to this pandemic was that we were seeking out a community engagement person to moderate the conversation to find out what our communities wanted. The pandemic has put that on hold. Yeah, perfect. Why don't you, Lindy, we you will start to reevaluate that as we navigate through this situation. I just, yeah. I wouldn't say anything about decisions. I wouldn't say yeah. anything about timeline because the reality is the reality. Lindy, <laughs> can you write make, that, I would make write that, that down. Write it down. I would make that two or three sentences like Lindy just said, and then Carl, the, the hard task is going to fall to you because someone's going to follow up, want to follow up and have a discussion about it. And we just have to politely say that is not the point of tonight's meeting. The point of tonight's meeting is to present the 2021 school budget. Yeah, no, that's, and I'm, 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 I'm okay with doing that because, you know, the, it's not a, I mean, for one, and I think it's important to say this in the announcement or the, the preface of the whole meeting at the very, very beginning, is this is not a freewheeling, this is not a freewheeling general board discussion. This is an informational presentation about the budget. We're going to go through it and you're going to, you're, we're, we're going to give you a presentation. We're going to have some discussion about what might happen in terms of September for education planning. And, uh, you know, this is not a strategic, you know, the, and, and we can make the statement right. I, I probably write at the head, something along or maybe, or maybe, the lines maybe. of we, we have community engagement uh, uh, coming, going forward. There, there's people in Rochester that are talking. That's going to happen, but that's not going to happen at this meeting. Some sort of and, statement like that, and we can decide how aggressive we want to be. I don't think we should mention Rochester in nothing, nothing. No, nope. yeah. this, this pandemic has done because that's just going to rile everyone up. We don't need to add to it. The truth is the pandemic happened. These were our plans before. We can't do it now. That's it. And I think it's a personal preference, Carl, where you decide. But I would just I would just throw out the idea that maybe that building yeah. statement might be better at the section of the budget when we're talking about buildings and grounds, not necessarily give it center stage right in the beginning of the meeting, but, yeah. but kind of downplay it, you know, go through 1100, 1200, you know, all the different sections. And when we get to the building section, then make that statement about where, what you've done re with the building and what the next step is once we're able to, to take it. Sure. Again, this is this is why I think it's important that we have the, the, that we put the presentation together, and you know, organize it and, and write it, and not, you know, mm -hmm. and, and not yeah. off the top. Yeah. yeah, I think it's a great idea. It's a great idea. Okay. Hey, so it's Megan you, here. I, I just wanted to quickly chime in real quick about the um, the buildings. Can we put together? I mean, I don't want to give a timeline going forward, but can we do a, a visual timeline? From where we where we started to where we hit at COVID, so people can actually see the pace of like our, our progress. I don't think that should be part of this meeting, Megan. Okay. It, you know, I think that the building is going to come up, and it's it, all of that would sideline Carl being able to say that's not appropriate at this meeting. I, I do yeah. think it could be its own agenda item in the future post by right. about like yeah. here's what we've accomplished i agree with you megan i think people yeah. really need to visually see that I here's agree. what we've done so far here came right uh, covid19 here's what we still need to do 
But before we do that, we need to now shift our focus on reopening schools in the fall. Yeah. And yeah. then we will pick that back up. And this is what our timeline could potentially be or something like that. I'm kind of going off. I agree. Topic. Megan, is that something you'd be willing to put together for a, a future meeting? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. A, time, a timeline of where we've been and where we're going or? Well, well I think just a timeline of where we've been up to now just and then because where we're going, we'll, uh, we'll have to see where we're going. Yeah, yeah. But, and so again, for a, future, for a future meeting, not for oh, this meeting, but okay. definitely. I will definitely do, do that. Yeah, and I do like Lindy's statement about, you know, we're focusing on opening school, you know, without sounding the alarm bell or anything else like that. There's going to be a tremendous amount of work to do for us to get schools open. And that's, that's really you know, we're just at the beginning stages of that task. So it's not like anyone's going to have a ton of time between now and August to focus on, on the building. Right. Okay. True. All right. Does that give Carl? our presentation? Is that Hold on a sec. Can I yep. just uh, finish up? So, Carl, uh, that that just sounds like um, a really great opening statement to the whole presentation. That you know, the real focus of the board and the administration right now is opening their our schools at all, or you know, in the safest way, as Lindy said, for the fall. That that might be a great thing to open with because that's the overall statement. And then we can come back to say building. Yeah, we've done it. This is where we were not appropriate. Now you see what I mean? Cause we go back. In other words, you're, you know, it's your opening, your opening sentence of your essay, you know, sure. is, is yeah. your statement up front. I will, uh, I will uh, work at it from that angle. I think that sounds great. Sounds What's great, Carl. Um, all right. Uh, nope, we're still on that topic. <laughs> the next part of that topic is is people attending the meeting. Um, uh, do we uh, have them request a, per, uh, a link to be able to be on video with us? Um, do we just provide them with the phone number and the time? Um, it, it can be either way. Uh, you should probably provide them with both. Some okay, people so, were... Uh, so if the they're... Back night uh, and others were on the phone. So to be a uh, video, they need to what request the link via from, they need to request access like from Carl and Carl needs to vet them of who, that they're uh, appropriate would, in yeah. the meeting. Ray would uh, be more. Ray doesn't more. know all the, re the residents and stuff. I mean, you would know some Can you explain this, Ray? Yeah, yeah, so, um, not every board has done it the same way. Um, one of them uh, just relied on the phone, and, and the other, um, a, a board member would copy me on an email with the person requesting. So that when I see the email come in, I know John Smith is looking to be on the on the uh, call, and there's somebody who, you know. It's it's not some random person from Australia, right? I mean, and that's the, the the challenge with meetings like this. You know, unfortunately, is once you're a participant, you can present, and and that makes it difficult in terms of just posting the link for anybody. Right. Now, did you so did board members send this send this information to you, or did you make a special a special email address that the public could could email about? Carl, if you want to do that, we can do that. I'm all up for trying new ways. But which way did you do it? Uh, in that case, uh, the the board member had sent it to me. Okay. Well, and we do have the website that we could, and it, it, it the website it says for additional information about the virtual meeting, we could put in there if you want uh, the link to join virtually, you need to email one of your board members X, Y, and Z because I like you said, so that that we can vet who this person is. It can be, you know, I'm Sally from down the road. Okay, I know you. You're, you know, and then we can send it off to Ray rather than him going directly right. to him because who I mean, knows. Somebody who could say they're from Stockbridge or Rochester and they live on, you know, Main Street and I would have no idea. Right. And I guess in the situations where I had concerns, I could do it in the opposite direction and say, hey, dear board members, here's the list. Um, do these look like uh, your your voters? I, I think I like that easier. 
scaling the board or the principles? Because some people may feel more comfortable reaching out to Lindy or reaching yep. out to Bonnie than they would with, you know, with me, for example, who hasn't had a kid at Stockbridge right. in a number of years. So okay. I, I, I think maybe that's the way we should handle that, Amy. Yeah. And, you know, people can call in. I mean, we're, we're, we're providing public access for people to call in. And, yeah. you know, yeah, if someone calls in and they star six, they can start screaming obscenities and Ray can, you know, try to clobber them until they call back in. But at least if they're, if we're doing an extra layer of vetting for video, we're hopefully not going to get porn bombed. Right. So do we want to put that up on the, um, the website that to, to request a virtual uh, link to this meet to this meeting, you need to contact Lindy, Bonnie, or one of your board members. Yeah, yep. uh, that's okay, okay with everybody. Could you do that, Ray? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll put that, you know, bit of text there and your email addresses and names uh, to make it easy. So this is, again, at the, the R, you know, wrvsu.org slash rsud site. So it's right. as simple as possible. And, you're, and, and you can probably just have them, you know, if you put the, the email address for the board, whatever the board group email address is, that way, yep. rather than saying, here's Carl Grappi, here's Jenny Feinberg, you know, that way we would all see it and we one of us would be able to say, oh, I know Bill Edgerton, oh, I know Timmy Pratt. Yep. You know, and we wouldn't have to, we wouldn't have to. Is it only you know. going to be on the website? Or well, so aren't you planning on letting them come through on the phone if they wish to, too? Correct. That's got to be on there so they can That's pick either. That's on the warning it's for the on, meeting. It's on the... Yeah, it's on the warning for the meeting. Right. It's in your book, and it's on that website. It's on right? the website for the phone and as well. The, and on the RSUD section of the WRVSU thing, if you could add that bit of text that says, "If you'd like a video link, you know, email the your yep. administration or board mem board members and put, yep. you know, that 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 link." I just think rather than having all six of the board member addresses, you know, yep. you can just email. So it's okay to list the board member names, but list the board yeah. address. Absolutely. Right. Sure. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Anything else, Amy? Yeah, we have to decide. Uh, if uh, have we decided that we're going to take questions um, just in order of, of, you know, just start from the top of the list. I think that sounds good. I mean, if it worked, okay. if it worked for the other two meetings, why should we invent a fancier way or right. a more complicated way? Okay. Well, is there someone who's comfortable moderating that part, like, so we're not all trying to call out the number? <laughs> Well, um, was, I, you just yeah. look at the list. It was the board chair, basically, that did it. Um, and you go right down the list that's on the side of your recording right now. And, uh, you know, the first caller or anybody that's not on the board, would you like to ask a question? Do star six and they unmute and ask. Right. Exactly. That's what happens. Okay. Um, Can I just ask a quick special request? With the people that, that have their caller ID turned off, because you know, like like right now, Orca Media comes through as private caller because they're they've 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 turned off their caller ID. But we can, I guess, we can deal with the private callers as we go through them. Yeah. Did you? Have Can I ask my question now? Yeah. You can. <laughs> I would love a hard copy of your budget book. If you could get one to me, you have it for me, Lindy. No, I'm saying no. me too. Oh, yes. <laughs> I have some for everybody. How can I get them to you? Um, if you drop, if you drop them in Rochester, I can get Lindy's in mine. If you drop, if, drop them, if you drop them to Rochester, we can get it to Tara too. We can okay, thank you very much. Office too. Like what, put them in the mailbox or somebody um, at school? I'm going. Uh, there might be somebody at school tomorrow, depending on what time you're there. Otherwise, just put them in the mailbox. Okay, yeah, so I'm, going, I'm, I'm talking too. <laughs> I'm going to the office tomorrow. So, um, Amy, what time are you going to bring them down? Because I can bring them over to the office. Or you could put them in your mailbox at your house, and I could drive through the hollow and pick them up. Perfect. I'll put them in my cooler. How okay. many do you how many do you want? I just need one. I just need one. We usually have I would like five. one. And then I'm sure Jamie and Bruce would also like one because we okay. use them 
at yeah. the same time that you guys are speaking. So that would be okay. great. Yes, I, I would. Okay, so I'll put. We usually have four or five at the school. I mean, they usually go. Parents pick them up, pass them through. Okay. So you, I will do five, six, seven for the school. So you and Lindy each have one, and um, and then three will go in the cooler for Deb Matthews to pick up and bring over to to the SEO. Is that correct? Uh, Christy needs one, so because um, she has. You can have mine. One. How's that? I, I have. I did get some extras, so. Yeah, so why don't you put four in there so that Christy can have one? Because Bruce sometimes keeps things. Hey, stop it! Nice. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Thank you very much. Yes. Okay, Amy. Anything else on the informational meeting, or do we get <laughs> answer all your your, your questions? I think we got it. I think it, I think we're in good shape. All right. I, I'm always yeah. happy. I'm always happy when we've when we've we've dotted all your T's and crossed all your I's. Do you? Yeah. Uh, would you like to see the F Bud slides? Uh, yes, I would. I think someone was getting me a link to that earlier, but that would yeah, be way I, I would think. Yeah, I can send it. I can send the email to you. That'd be great. From Ray. Yeah, you you know it's. They're really easy. Just put your own information in, but it's it's easy. All right. So ballot counting method. Um, we had left this up in the air. We need to have a motion that determines whether we're uh, uh, counting them in a commingled fashion or counting them individually. The last piece of the conversation we had had about that was we were uh, um, thinking that we would follow the lead of of our two town clerks and our community uh, or our civil uh, civil boards of authority. Uh, both of whom have said they'd like to count them separately. Yeah, I think it's important. I feel as a board that it, we had desired for them to be commingled, um, but due to the state that we are in, I think we need to not commingle them and take the the safety precautions that that um, that we need to. Uh, I I agree. I think that I, I think that you know. All the political back and forth that we've had around this, you know, stands down compared to what the school board of authorities and the town clerks and our and our district clerk have all said, which is they would like this to be as hands off and as 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 separate as possible. So, you know, I, I certainly think that that's. I mean, in my mind, at least, I, I usually don't try to, to to pontificate from the the chair, but that, that that's my feeling. Does anyone else have any other discussion? I just want everyone to know, I tried to ask Dina if we could make up our own law. <laughs> <laughs> if there was any creative latitude around this situation, I was told no, very quickly, but. Still working on your evaluation. I asked her basically the same thing. Are there ways that we could, is there ways we could game this? And I was told no. I just was. I just thought maybe because some other places had started to have their votes that maybe some stuff would come out from that, but. Yeah. No in such case, In case you didn't already know this, Lindy doesn't give up easily. <laughs> <laughs> um, having been on the, the opposite side of, of, of the, 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 the issue from her a couple times, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I would entertain a motion that uh, we hold our June 30th uh, election uh, with a ballot count to be done uh, by individual uh, town clerks and uh, civil boards of authority. So moved. Do I have a second? Second. Any other uh, discussion? Hearing none, all those in, uh, in favor of holding the uh, ballot counting for the June 30th uh, annual school uh, special Australian meeting. Put uh, <laughs> a moniker. Individual time and uh, uh, civil boards of authority signify by saying aye. We'll go down the list. Amy? Aye. Uh, Ethan. Aye. Janie. Aye. Aye. Megan. Aye. Uh, I also vote aye. It's a unanimous decision. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. All right. Um, so to clarify process, though, that means they'll be counted, and the town clerks need to report that out to Jenny. Right, Correct. we need to make sure we communicate that piece just so they right. all know. I will reach out to Dina uh, either later today or tomorrow morning or tomorrow sometime to say, here's the result of our vote. 
is there anything else we need to do? Is there any steps Jenny needs to take? And I'll probably see uh, Jenny and the town clerks and all that. And then Dina can give us our marching orders. Yeah, that's fine. Awesome. You have to let us know what the answers are. Oh, what? Two people. Jenny. What's that? When, when you get the results, then we ask that you let me, the superintendents, and Christy know because we have to immediately report them back out to the state. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't sure who to send those to, so that's good. Well, who else does she send it to? How do how does everybody else know? Well, she could send it to all of you too. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure that, that we were included on that list so we can do our follow up reports that we have to. Uh, right, and you guys could put out a press release when it's all said and done. I mean, and what we need specifically is um, the number of yays and nays or yeses and nos, however it's identified. And we would need it at that point for both towns because that's how we then have to report it to the state. And you would need it for each question on the ballot. So Yes. Yeah. Budget vote went like this. Um, uh, 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 school board member votes went like that. So on and so forth. All right. I'm sure the Herald's going to want to be involved. Yeah, well, we can, you know, like I said, the, the big step here is to, is to, I think, let Dina know what's going on and have Dina, Dina make sure that she tells us all the things we need to do so we don't have any surprises on the 29th, you know? Can you remind me again, Carl, when is the ballot ready and is there anything that I need to do? I think Dina was making that, but is there anything the ballot, I need to do? The ballot is ready and, and, and uh, has been given to both town clerks. As a matter of fact, I meant to today, but I did not get around to uh, reaching out to Lori to get my absentee ballot for myself. So um, you should be able to request them uh, from the town clerks now. Cool. All right. Um, I think that, you know, we have our next, theoretically, our next regular meeting is the first Tuesday of July. I think. Let's leave that on the calendar until we know how the vote goes. And we can, if, if the vote passes, we can maybe decide that we don't need to uh, uh, get together at the beginning of July. We got so much to talk about, Carl. I was going to say, Carl, I am going to have to ask you for a special meeting. Okay. When is that? Um, I am hoping early next week. Or maybe we can piggyback your, your informational meeting and do it right before. I am right in the process of wrapping up your audit, so I'll need to I'll send that to you all via email with the results so that you can accept it if you so choose to. And then I am waiting to hear back from the bank on our options on your tax anticipation note. I went out, I have the projected tax anticipation note based on the fact that you don't have a budget yet. But my question to the bank today was given when your vote is if your budget passes, can I then change your tax anticipation note not to be at the 87% funding level? So I will need your acceptance of the tax anticipation note once I have that answer. Okay, so that could theoretically be something that was done on the, the, the since the vote's on the 30th, um, that's something that could be done at our regular meeting in July since we have so much to talk about. Yeah, but we need it for July 1st. So, <laughs> so that's why if I get the answer right away. I'm not sure how exactly we would do that, Tara. Right. So I, I would have you accept it as bid, and then I would make, if I can, which I don't even know if it's an option, then I would make an adjustment to it once you've accepted it. But I will need you to accept your TAN before June 30th. Okay. Well, why don't you figure out your and TAN and then we'll that money. do that. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. And so I just wanted to give you a heads up, but I'll know more answers. The bank didn't have a chance to get back to me today. So, yeah. Um, we may also, uh, you know, depending on where we stand on this presentation, if we have to have a conversation, we may need to have a special meeting on uh, like Monday the 29th or something like that. If we had, if we had issues that we wanted to work out about our presentation. You know that the presentation's a week from today, right? Yeah. Not I'm, Monday. I'm sorry, not the, I, I didn't mean the 29th. I meant the 27th. Okay. I just had a little bit of like, my days and dates are really off as well, but. Yeah, no, I, I, I totally know the feeling. What I, what I meant was, was that, you know, while we're all 
excited that, that, that we think that Carl's going to put together a great presentation, and so does Carl, um, that, you know, we may need to, if, if the conversation goes sideways, we may need to, to, to be prepared to have a conversation prior to our, our, our informational meeting on the 23rd, so that might be the 22nd. And then Tara wants to meet with us somewhere, and then we're going to meet, meet in July. So meetings still to come, I guess. So we, we'll, right. we'll figure that out depending on how things go. So yeah, if it, you know, as soon as you as soon as you have any indication, yeah. that if, as soon as you have any indication that the the uh, presentation is going south, uh, uh, have a meeting immediately, please. I, I will certainly <laughs> reach than, out. Rather than midnight on the on the twenty second. <laughs> Era, if you think we can, if you think we can um, have, you know, if we're gonna, the sooner we can approve that budget and be able to put that document up on our website and be able to say. To everyone that's been yelling at us about how long it's been with, with that we had an approved audit, if we could, if you know, we, it, it would be great to be able to say, you know, just you know, on the meeting of the twenty third, that by the way, we finally have it. You know, it's not reflected in your booklet, but you can match those numbers up to the approved audit, which is on the website at Blur. You know, so uh, being able to do that would be great. And that also, I I'd, I'd forgotten. I'd asked this question that I never followed up, so I will right now. Um, Lindy, you were the person that was doing most of the work with um, Black River or whatever. Is do we ever yeah, figure? I just need. I have it digitally, so this is what I need to know from the board. And it sounds really silly, but how do you want it posted? Like, because it's a board item, do you want it as like another pull down option on the board section of school websites? Yes. I have the thumb drive too, Lindy, if that's easier. The thumb drive resides in my office. I will know more tomorrow. And I'll be in yeah. touch. Because if, if I can just give the thumb drive to Ray and that makes it easier, we can try that. There you go, Lindy. Where's the Ray? <laughs> no, poor Ray. His list is like my list. It, it just would be good to, that, that, that we could tell people that that report, the, 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 that, you know, that that building report was available, you know, they can read the 87 pages. Okay. It's all there on the website as well. So being able to, you know. The, I will the, play with it tomorrow and let you know where it gets posted. How make sure that? you put it up on the SU website as well. Right, that's oh, okay. the one. The, the, yeah. the art side section of, the, of the, yep. Yep. The, the SU website, I think is where we're trying to keep all our stuff. Okay. Yeah, I think that's appropriate for board yeah. stuff. And then just food for thought, maybe if our list is really long for July, instead of a July meeting, maybe we schedule a retreat since we've pushed things around. I don't know, just throwing it out there. If we have a lot on the agenda, and I can't even wrap my brain around what that would be yet. But yeah, we could have two virtual meetings because those are, are easier. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just on a lot of virtual meetings. I'm not going to lie. I'm like ready, uh, just at my max right now. It's not that okay. I don't enjoy seeing you all through a computer. I'm let's just, just more meet in the field. Yeah. Food for thought. That's uh, well, Let's keep that in mind. You don't well, have to have an gymnasium. answer. But... We could do a bit in the gymnasium. We could be a great distance from each other and call across the room. Yes, we're meeting as a PBIS team with lawn chairs in the parking lot in a circle tomorrow, so we don't have to do a computer. So thank you, Lindy, because that's what that. you just brought up the fact that we uh, need agenda items by like July first, July July first, so that we can get the agenda posted July second for a uh, July seventh meeting. So be thinking of it, this the agenda. Christy will be thankful that you said that, Amy. I know. I'm making good friends with her. <laughs> and we'll uh, we'll have more specifics, I'm guessing, within the next week. But also the board, um, just to keep in the back of your minds that Lindy and I will need to be updating you throughout the summer on where we are with opening of school plans. It yeah, is going to be a very different set of conditions under which we open. And I yeah. don't want anyone on the board caught unawares of, of what that's going to look like. Greatly appreciate that. All right. Um, so, uh, is there any public comment? I don't believe anyone is here except for the Orca Media private caller. So, I would uh, entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Okay. Uh, do I have a second? Yeah.
All right, emotions are made and seconded that we adjourn. I will uh, send out information on that presentation. And if it does start rabbit holing, yes, Amy, I will call a meeting. And I was kind of <laughs> you when I said we weren't going to need to meet in July.